All right, so here we are in Clinton County, Ohio. Uh, we're at a creek uh, back behind my parents' house. And we are going to be going up this creek a ways. We're going to be looking for horn corals or whatever other kind of fossils we can find today. So uh, let's have some fun and uh, see, uh, see what we can find. All right, so I'm right down here, right where I was standing, um, talking to you. And I look down, and here is a piece of horn coral still in the rock. There's another piece right here. Uh, it's embedded down in there pretty good. Got a bucket. I'll set those. Well, you know what? Let's wash those off real quick. Check out those ridges. It's got a busted tip, unfortunately. Got some more uh, fossils there in the back. All right, put those in the bucket. Oh, lucky there. Oops. We got this little single point. Fairly good tip. So my son just comes over and he hands me this. Uh, lots of little fossils in this. There is so much of this stuff all over in this creek. Here's a horn coral here, a horn coral there, and possibly one right there. All right, so when you're looking around, the sun is going to be your friend. Um, so you look for those unique shapes that are in the rocks. Um, you don't want to have your shadow in the way because uh, that'll mess up your vision. You see it? Sometimes you can find little single points land by themselves. Sometimes they'll be nice sized, like longer than a finger. Sometimes they might even be like a half an inch long. Bucket. So you use the sun to catch all the different shadows. Um, little shell here to help you see all the identifying markers for uh, fossils, um, coral, uh, horns, you name it. So the sun is always your friend whenever you are rock hounding and uh, looking for unique features. All right, so we're doing some little bit of surface searching um, here on the creek. So you found one over here? Oh, nice. Yeah, the tip's busted on it. There's also one right there on that rock. Go ahead. Let's take a look at it. Ooh, there's a couple of them on there. Nice. You got at least three. Uh, four. Five. This right here is number five. So we've got one here, two here, then above my thumb, and then one more above that. That's a nice piece. All right, let me rinse this off real quick.
Got one up there. It's got seven pieces of it. Drop that in the bucket. Put that single point in there. So we're going upstream a little bit, seeing what we can find. Ooh. Yeah, buddy. That right there is perfect. And what's that sign? Big one right here. You said there was a small one where? In the rock. Oh, yeah. Uh, where's this big one at? Oh, I see it. Nice. Is that one a single by itself? Yep. Get that rinsed off. Yeah, so we got. Kind of spirals a little bit. There's a horn coral right there. Yeah, there are so many different uh, fossils all over this creek. And they are everywhere. I mean, Every other rock is just loaded. Horn coral, other types of coral. Let me rinse this off. It's a thicker rock, it's a little actually a little bit heavy. They add up. So I decided to go ahead and get in the water. Um, see, there's a piece of horn coral in here. I'll set that on top. See, all these rocks have got so many fossils on them. This one over here. Oh, that's buried in there pretty good. This was right underneath my feet. I have this no one, idea. It's mostly covered up, but it's a nice up one. Let me see. That one has a cool oh. shell indention. It is nice. Here's a nice big old chunk of jacket. Well, it is covered up. I don't know how he saw that. Oh, time to rinse this one here off. Now again, my young sons walked on uh, this side of the creek. I went up there, they're up ahead of me, and like I said, they are younger and they have better eyes than I do. But still, I was walking along, coming up, trying to catch up with them, and look what I spotted. I have not touched it yet. Wash it off and take a look at it. Ooh, I love that texture. It's got a good tip on it. Just came down here to the water. Uh, I thought this was kind of interesting looking. I wanted to wash it off, get all the mud off of it, see if it was anything worth keeping. I don't see any kind of identifying fossil or anything like that. And so I went to go chuck it. And as I went to go do that, I looked down and I saw all this. Oh, a full point. 
man right here in Clinton County Ohio walking up and down a creek looking for horn coral or whatever whatever kind of fossils I can find and check this out so I just picked this thing up uh, set it down here it's got two pieces of horn coral on it oh actually three here uh, here and then this one here didn't really see anything on the back I think I'm going to go ahead and hang on to it anyhow and then as I set that down I looked over I saw this uh, it's got an interesting texture on it and then I saw that let me pick that up so I started to step away and as I did I looked over out of the corner of my eye and I saw this the piece I hope it's got a full point on there we'll see it looks like it might oh it's in a matrix here Francis Roth Does. it's got a full point on there nice don't see any of the ridges all right so I'm gonna nose around in here my sons have gone way up the creek I don't see them anymore um, but they're much quicker than I am I'm a little more slow take my time it's kind of interesting right there Nothing. Oh. Recognize that shape. Still in the matrix. Let's do a little bit of uh, surface searching. Uh, a little bit of raw, unedited video for a minute or two. And see if we can find anything somewhat uh, decent what I'm looking for is horn coral but I'll take there's all kinds of different uh, fossilized coral out here and I'll take just about anything I guess thing is my sons have the bucket down there and I don't want to have to keep carrying everything check that out Isn't that neat all the different variations and stuff that's pretty cool I'm not sure what that is. If that's an agate, is what I'm assuming. I think. I don't know. Maybe I'll hang on to it. All right. Help me find some uh, some of those horn coral. I'm looking for those shapes. Flip a few things up. Nothing, nothing. Yeah. Nice big rock. That's interesting. I'm not going to keep it, but still. Oh. It's a shell. Leaving it. A bird up there talking to me. What a beautiful day. I'd say upper 50s. Uh, the water feels like it's in the 40s. <laughs> it's pretty chilly on my feet. And that's all right. It's just for a minute. I'll leave it. So my boys have already rifled through some of this stuff, but. Well, I know as soon as I turn this thing off, I'll find a big one. I know it. Which, see, that's the thing. 
is I'll want to turn it off to, to find the big one, but I want to catch it on fit. Oh, hey, here's a small one. Well, I'll be happy with a small one. I'll take it. You see it? Right there in the water. I hope it's not connected. Oh, it's loose. It's got its tip. It's a little smoothed over from tumbling in the creek. Love that texture. Nice. So I just tried to make the jump from there, landed about there, got my bearings for a minute, looked down and saw that. That's pretty smoothed over. Still, that's pretty cool. Great sign. Maybe I'll find some good stuff over in here. Oh, hey, 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 hey. I almost didn't see that. I was starting to flip that rock. Look at that. How awesome is that? So I was just standing right there. I found that one, and I started walking here through the creek, <clears throat> working my way up. And whenever I walk, I uh, kind of visually just sweep right to left, right to left, and just kind of looking along at everything as I go. And came up, saw that. See that identifying shape right there? Right there it is. Still in the matrix. It's dirty. Just try and shake some of that stuff off of there. Oh, there's two of them. So I got that one, and then there's this one here. Looks like we have a mama and some little babies. Little raccoons. Things about flipping some rocks here is sometimes you'll run into some salamanders. So if you look, See a little tail? Let's see if we can see the face. Hello, little fella. If you know what kind of salamander that is, just let me know in the comments. See anything? Set some stuff down. Oh, just a rock. Oh, oh, you meant this. Okay, let's try it out. Cool. All right, so Saturday, uh, March 20th. Um, just been having some fun looking up and down the creek here in uh, Clinton County, Ohio. Um, I think I might go ahead and call it quits and go up and spend some time with some family. So I hope you enjoy the video, and uh, God bless. All right, I said I was going to quit, but here's just one more. <laughs> I hope it's not connected. Ah, it is connected. Let me set down some of my other rocks. Oh, where'd it go? go? And a busted tip. Oh, well. All right, y'all take care. God bless.